Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. The stick has feet! Good thing the narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> Well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Meeny, meeny, miny, mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog! Oh, one thing I'll say. You sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. Ta-da! Wow! You are awesome when it comes to making authentic-looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof! 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 Uh, Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Uh -huh. Is that box there yelping? <laughs> puppies? Oh, they're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Why am I ever annoyed? You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. So, what are your names? <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <sighs> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! We're gonna take great care of you, darlings! You must be starving! I'm gonna take care of that on the double! <laughs> oh no! Yours are the little boys! <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried away? Shh! Not here, not in front of the puppies! <laughs> yeah, no, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. I'm so happy the Living Stones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after 
talk to them for a sec. I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat you Ginny and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true, they are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Ah! Oh, thank you so much! I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. So and I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. I warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Uh, well, she's, uh... Uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! Eugenie? Eugenie! Eugenie! Oh, she disappeared! Uh, <laughs> we're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. What? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Children don't eat puppies. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! <laughs> My beloved sister! Those little monsters! Come on, Alfie. We're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! <laughs> See the turtle be a submarine. Uh, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What are we gonna do? Oh, the horror! The horror! All oh, that water! I'm sorry, I can't do anything. Cats hate water. Yeah, but like, uh, I'm a 
cat too, and uh, since that's uh, water and all. They're irresistible. Kind of like Sam, me. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Ah, uh, well, uh, yeah. Of course, I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, uh, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. And don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A oh, treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! Yes, you come on. Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. I told you, 
Our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> And your zipper is metal, like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine. <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm -hmm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've gotta watch TV. We have to stop him digging. <laughs> Yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up. You. Yeah. Right, here we go. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know, we'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No, we head down the chimney. Ah, great idea. <laughs> Bring it on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Cat! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro? Okay, right. Don't panic. Must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. You're thinking. You're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam. Water. What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh no, why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny! 
shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. ah. that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> huh? This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves! Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. <gasps> now nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! Oh! The Livingstones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? <laughs> hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Da ha! There it is! Wash? Sure, it's you, Wash. 
Huh, I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. <laughs> you don't recognize me? It's Magnus. Hey, Magnus, of course. <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. Yay, I'm hungry! Look, shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? Yay, I'm hungry! What? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? <laughs> uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The living stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? <laughs> Stop! It sure was rough. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm gonna take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome! Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bull! rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Hilarious. Do it again. Meow, meow. Yay, my kibble. Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's uh, Vic. Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash! You're gonna run! Who's he? Your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. Hey, Wash! You there? Over here! I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about. Making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? 
Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... Uh, yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again, no? <laughs> Is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the masters. Oh, <laughs> this is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> You haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. What? You gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's you right, you're you're right. Right. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream! Shall we move things up in gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Want to join in? Come on, give us a hug. Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's the Washington <laughs> we know dog. and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> 19, 19. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, climb <laughs> aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh 
Добро, Кадабро! A scam? What scam? There is no scam, Vic. It's plain to see. That's magic! Sorry to ruin your dream, Sam, but magic does not exist. Of course magic exists! My grandpa had a magic flute that could magic everybody and everything! Even when he was hungry, Grandpa Zachary would toot on his flute and chicken would come running straight out, bewitched by its magic spell. Really? It's totally true. And because he spent his time eating everything in sight, Grandpa Zachary lost all his teeth. If that's not proof, what is? It's baloney. That's what it is. You know what? My grandpa had a pixie tambourine, and whenever he shook it, everyone started talking humbug. Say. He must have been buddies with your grandpa, Wash. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, very funny. I could bring you back a magic flute, no problem, Vic. Okie dokie, you do that. In the meantime, I'm gonna conjure myself up some magic shut eye. Abra Kadabra. <sighs> Who are you gonna try it out on? There are no chickens around here. No need for chickens. We got Vic. Yeah, it's true that Vic sure does smell good. She must taste amazing. Not to eat her, Sam. We have to prove to her that magic exists. I'm gonna magic her with my flute. Here, put these on your ears. That'll save you from falling under the magic spell. But what are you gonna use? It's a traditional fox flute. Foxes are protected from it. Say, Vic, could you please lend us your cushion? Sure, no problem. Whatever you want. Come on, take a seat. Don't stand on ceremony. Whoa! Reckon she could bring us some kibble, too? Sure, no problem. Feel free to ask me whatever you like. Don't be shy. Can we try your flute? Come on, can we try? Come on, please! Sorry, girls, it's a traditional fox flute. Only works with foxes. Aww. If that's the way it is, we're going to make our very own magic flute. Yeah! A super-duper flute in the canary rabbit tradition! <laughs> Whoa! Thanks, Vic! Thanks, Vic. Now, make like a banana and split, would you? Sure. With pleasure. <laughs> so, Sam, if this isn't the life, huh? Kibble and a couch and a cushion. Bless. Mm -hmm. If we didn't wear these dumb costumes, life would be heaven. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wash, how about you magic the living stone so that they let us hang around the house without our costumes on? Smart idea. Only problem is, I don't know if my flute works on humans. I've never tried. <laughs> we can make our flute from this. Hey, it's the sculpture I made in art class. I wondered what had happened to that. Oh, amazing. You found it, honey. I should have dug deeper. You know what, honey? This has made me want to start sculpture again. <laughs> I'm going to get myself a big block of marble to make a sculpture even bigger, and we'll put it in the living Room, huh? Wash, oh. <laughs> how are we gonna find out if the magic flute has worked on the living stones? They always get so starry-eyed about everything. Oh. If the flute's magic has really worked, they'll understand everything I say. Could you possibly take a band of wild animals into your home, please? Of course, anything you want. We have a fox in the house, amazing. Wow! A wild boar! I've always dreamed of living with a wild boar. How about we welcome them with one of our special homemade smoothies? Life is going to be good here! Yeah! This will be better than anything ever! This magic flute is awesome! Say, let's give it a go! Whoa! What in the world is 
that? It's a magic fruit, Play-Doh. Maybe it's not so magic as we thought it was. Maybe you didn't blow hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> What on earth? <laughs> ah! A, A boar! boar! What happened, Was? The magic flute spell has been broken by that weird sound. Quick, cover your ears, Sam. Ah! <sighs> Could you possibly remove the jar off my head, please? Of course. Anything you Here, want. Let me help you, and we'll go fetch you another special smoothie. <laughs> That stuff sure smells weird. <laughs> and what's more, it's disgusting. I gotta wash this stuff off. And one certainly couldn't wear outfits like this in the 21st century. They'd be thrown in the garbage immediately. Yeah, of course, anything you want. You should be ashamed of yourself, scaring honest dogs like that. Look what you've done to that <laughs> boy. Like with Wash's flute. Maybe we're not playing the right note. <laughs> 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 uh, you okay, Sam? Yeah, I'm great. Happy is the bigger and the fun. What do you want to watch? Hey, what's wrong with you? That's the first time you've ever let me choose a program where you're the one holding the remote. Don't tell me the flute is magic to you, too! Yeah! Huh? Honey, was it your crazy idea to zap up this chocolate soap and radish smoothie? No, I, uh... Weren't we going to look for a block of marble for my new statue? I think we better get our costumes back on, Sam. No, they're in the dumpster. They're in the dumpster? Who put them in the dumpster? Uh, I did. Yeah, it, it was the woman on the TV. She told me to do it. <laughs> it's you making those weird noises? How did you do that? Just like this. <gasps> it really doesn't work like Wash's flute. Come on, let's go ask him. Wash? Wash? Where are you? Works on people on the TV too? How are we going to get to the junkyard without our costumes? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Can you drop us off somewhere, please? Of course, whatever you want. Come on, get in. See you soon, guys. Look after yourselves. Thanks, Thanks guys. guys. Those guys from the pound are really cool. Why are we usually so afraid of them? Hmm. It works even less than in the yard. They haven't even reacted. In my opinion, it's because the show is pre-recorded. You're right. I'll find another show. As this footage shows, right now as I speak, a fox and a wild boar are at large in the local junkyard. There is no cause for concern. The site guardian and his faithful hound have the problem under control. Whoop! Wash and Sam? Now's the moment to see if our flute really works. Here, our costumes! They're gonna recycle them! Gee, wait for me! <laughs> Get your earmuffs on, Sam. Shh, you're gonna wake up the guard! Titan? Quiet! Keep the noise down! I know! It's because he wants to play! Come on, boy, punch! There, that got him! So, but... I think thanks are in order! Wild animals? In my junkyard? You have exactly five seconds to get out of here! Five... Our costumes, Wash! Two, one! Hey, right on time! What can I do for you? 
home. After all that running around, a massage would be most welcome. Hey, Vic, Vic, seen our amazing flute? No! You can also bring us your share of kibble. Right here in a bowl, please. Hmm. Anything else? I expect you're wanting a massage, too, while you're at it. Ah, oh, that was too good to be true. What on earth was that horrible sound? Titan? Titan? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Girls, it's not a game. The Livingstones are getting ready for Auntie Rachel to visit. Auntie Rachel? What's that? Auntie Rachels are a subspecies of humans who are a pain in the rear because they can't stand cats. <laughs> and dogs? Do they like dogs? <laughs> dogs? Seriously, Wash? Does anyone actually like dogs? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Try and hang in there. It's only for a few days. I'm gonna prove to you that everybody loves dogs, Vic. Let the boss man do his shtick. This should be a gas. Hey, Wash! Wash! <laughs> Washington! Dog, leave Auntie alone. Oh, now who is this splendid little creature? Hmm. Oh no, my favorite pillow! No way is she Sit going to- down here, my little BB! Ugh, I can't watch this. What a priceless treasure! The spitting image of Apricot! My darling BB when I was a little girl! Well, this one's our Washington. Sugar Auntie. Sugar, sugar, BB. Isn't that yummy, little BB? That was a good idea to get rid of that horrible critter you used to have. Boy, did she ever stink. Uh, what critter? Uh, Victoria? Uh, but we still have her, Auntie. In fact, I'll be honest, the family has gotten much bigger. Hey there, darlings. Come say hello to Auntie Rachel. <laughs> hey, you! Get lost, you disgusting creature, you! Show! Show! Ooh, that Auntie's off her rocker! So you've got yourself three new stink balls? One wasn't enough? <clears throat> Sam, girls, go into the kitchen. We'll introduce you later, okay? Take a look at Auntie's BB, heavyweight champion of the world! Hey, I win some sugar sugars too! BB! Ah, when I hear the word sugar sugar, sorry guys, duty call! No, it's not fair! And all that because he's wearing a BB costume and we're not! Ah, uh, come on, quit soaking! Let's go play hide and go pig! Great idea! But it's Wash's turn to play wolf! Don't worry, we'll go get him! Last and there's a stink! Hey, what? You gonna come play hide and go pick with us? Oh, sure. And it's my turn to play the wolf. Uh, 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 BB! You're not playing with those ugly little stink balls. Shoo! Shoo! Out of here! No way she gonna stop us from playing hide and go pick with Wash. Oh, my! 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 Oh,
Is everything I... okay, Auntie? Things couldn't be worse. Those stink balls of yours are bothering my baby and me. We're going for a walk. Yeah? Uh, very well. Uh, have a nice walk? Have a nice walk? And where, pray tell, is the stroller? The... the... stroller? Well, of course! You don't think BB's going to walk on all fours, do you? And bring me his coat, too, please! <laughs> Washington? Washington? <laughs> You going to a costume party? Because I have never seen such a stuff. Whoa, check out Mommy's darling little doggy. Hey, sweetheart, you want to make some room in your taxi for us? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what a pretty collar. Look at that, BB. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Washington, he really doesn't look very good. <laughs> yeah, right. Sugar Sugar Galore is singing color. Sir Wash is leading the high life. He just doesn't have time to play hide and go pig with his friends anymore. He's got no choice, Sam. If we could only somehow console him. I've got an idea. Just make sure you're ready, okay? Oh! oh. Get those back to me right now, you little feathered punk, you! Flash, you okay? Well, I've seen better days. Better? You've got a musical collar, sugar, sugar galore. Go for a stroll in a stroller. You're a star, buddy, a star. What more do you want, a mountain of sausages? You just don't understand, Sam. We dreamed of all that, sure, but with Auntie Rachel, it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. I'd rather go back and live in the forest. Hey, cheer up. It'll be over soon. Auntie will leave and everything will go back to normal. Red alert, Annie's on a rampage. Oh, what a patch. Yeah. If she thinks for one second she can fool Auntie Rachel, she's the dumbest bird I've ever seen. The first boat out of here tomorrow morning. We? You got it. Bibby and me. I'm certainly not leaving him in this circus with a bunch of thieves and stink balls. Certainly not, Auntie. Washington is part of our family. Very well, then. I'll just have to move in here. I'll have my mail forwarded tomorrow. <laughs> well, actually, you're right. It's going to be hard for us, but we really can't deprive Washington of a dream life with you. Go on. Wash? His paw prints. He'd rather go back and live in the forest than with that crazy old bat? I don't believe it. He really left? Oh, poor Wash. We have to go find him. <gasps> We've got to first get rid of Auntie, otherwise Wash will never want to come home. But Auntie will never leave without her BB. If you're interested, I've got an idea. It's not like I really want to see Washington return to the house, but if it might help me get my favorite pillow back. Baby has disappeared, and I won't leave without him. My little 
little baby. Our boat is set to sail. Boy, is it ever hot. How about some fresh air, baby? you after all? Annie is going away. You can come back home now. Great. Where's my costume? Yeah, well, um, we should have it any minute now. Don't worry. We got everything totally under control. I heard that uh, now they make uh, Daddy Kibble for cat. Do you really, really want me to get Wash's costume for you? <laughs> Washington. We just dropped him like an old sock. We really are bad masters. Oh, no. Washington? Good dog! You came home. Oh no! But then Auntie's going to come back too! Huh? Here we are, Pepe! All we've got now is huh? Pepe! Pepe! <laughs> Honey, we got a card from Annie Rachel. Can keep wash, she says. She has just adopted an ostrich who reminds her of Cherry, the ostrich she had when she was a little girl. See, Wash, but if she comes back one day. Yes, yeah, Sam, promise. You can still keep the collar. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Everybody hooked up? Yeah! The Wild One Express is ready to go! All aboard! Cheers! Yeah! Watch out! Tunnel coming up! Uh-oh. The Friday Express. Next stop, nowhere! <sighs> Phew, I'm exhausted. Time for a nice cup. Uh, what? But what's happened here? Ouch. Looks like the Wild One Express has reached the end of the line. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Were you the ones who made all that mess? Uh, looks like we're really in for it now. We're to blame, too. They need space alicious and Arikins to stretch their legaroos. Hmm. Arikins? Space alicious? What are you talking about? They need space. They need air. They need to stretch their legs. Let's go to the forest. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone, you are one of a kind. I simply adore you. Yeah. Oh no! You remember the last time we went to the forest? And there's me thinking we were off the hook. Me too! Get adventure and commune with Mother Nature. No barriers, no fences. Let's drop all our defenses. Well done, guys. Thanks to you, I want a trip to the forest. You're on your own on this one. We'll never survive in the forest, Wash. We're not wild anymore. Calm down. I may have an idea to get us back home fast, but we'll all have to pitch in. You too, Victoria. <laughs> um, okay. Maybe not you, Vic. <laughs> Nature in the hood. The adventure's looking good. <laughs> Looks like you can't wait to stretch those legaroos. That's perfect. We have everything we need. 
Uh, you think this is gonna work, Wash? Completely. We all go mm -hmm. out, we wear them down, and when they're on their knees, all they'll want to do is jump straight back in the car and head home. Go! When can we go home where it's nice and warm? Soon. Take a look over there. I'm beat. Where's my bed? I gotta lie down. Incredible. I gotta admit, I'm impressed. Yeah, I know. I'm amazing. Everybody, back in the car. We How about we stay the whole weekend? What? <sighs> Great idea. Looks like they love the forest. They're having a ball. In the meantime, we could get some shut eyes. Luckily, I planned ahead. One tent in, two seconds flat. <laughs> but, but, but I was sure. What happened? Oh, no, what a shame. We're going to have to go home. I also planned ahead. You're the best, Vic. I admit, it was a good idea. Not a great idea, but a good idea. Well, how about we build ourselves a cabin? Even better! I'll go fetch the wood. And I'll go fetch food. Let's live wild! <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's face it, guys. I'm pretty sure we need a plan B. G guys? Guys? Girls? Where are you guys? I gotta say, this mud bath sure does you good. Hey! Get out of there! If anybody sees you, living wild like an angry child, living free like a big green tree. Honey, I have the wood! We're off to get adventure and commute with Mother Nature. <laughs> What's got it into you? You nearly blew our cover. Sorry, Wash. There was no it's my instincts. Me too. I can feel my instincts coming back. It's the forest. We have to find some way back home and fast. Otherwise, we're going to turn back into wild beasts. But uh, that's the answer. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have here? Metals, berries, roots, acorns. Ouch! Uh, no, that's a pebble. <laughs> oh! Of course there are, honey. It's nature, you know. There's roe deer, squirrels... <laughs> boars and foxes? <laughs> Head to the car! <laughs> Hear that, my friends? Head to the car? That means we're going home! Yay! <laughs> Listen! The engine's already running! Quick! <laughs> <laughs> Where are the living stones? That wasn't the engine! It's Vic snoring! Vic! 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 <laughs> oh, so you came back. The living stones aren't with you? Well, no, that's just it. We thought they were up the car. You should have seen it, Vic. Wash and Sam played it being wild beasts and scared them off. They took to their heels like rabbits. How are we going to get home now if we don't even know where they are? I'm warning you, Wash. I refuse to spend one more second in this lousy forest, so you'd better find them if you know what's good for you. It was all part of my plan. What's the problem? Okay, guys, let's make like I said. Yeah, what was your plan again? I can't remember. Play along, Sam. Oh, where has that dumb car gone? 
We're lost! Darling, what if those wild beasts come back? Now, now, don't panic. Nothing's going to happen to us. Using my legendary fox sense of smell, we'll find our masters in... The Living Stones! Quick, this way! Yeah, that's Mitch's cave! Maybe he's gobbled up Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone! And we'll never get to go home again! Look at him! This is one cute bear! So much cuter than the bear that invaded our bedroom! I was so afraid! Oh, Teddy! What a lovely, fluffy teddy bear! What? Look who's here! They found us! Well done, guys! Come and say hello to our new friend! He's adorable! Hi, guys. Welcome to my home. You know what, honey? I've just had the craziest idea. How about we hang out here for a few days? Mr. Livingstone, I adore you more and more. <laughs> it looks like we're going to be living together. <laughs> Okay, Vic. I've got something to confess. We couldn't find the living stones. We're gonna have to live in the forest for the rest of our lives. No hard feelings, huh? I warned you! Mmm. Thank you, honey. What a delicious feast! This bear is so adorable, don't you think, honey? Mm -hmm. What's happened to Wash? He's not going to leave us alone with Mitch, is he? I'm back, my friend. <laughs> Perhaps he's not such a cute teddy bear after all. There is something slightly wild about him. Well done, Wash. Good dog. Honey, wait. <laughs> Safety first. <laughs> Let's go home. Yeah, honey. We're, we're through with stre stretching our like a ruse. Oh. Thanks for the claw job, Vic. I gotta confess. You found a pretty good way out for once. <laughs> Next time I swear I'll have my payback. Mm, those pine cones are quite good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Home. Why bother licking clean 100% synthetic fur? I'm practicing. So, what do you think? Aren't I as real as the real cats? Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, you'll never ever be a real cat because you've got no magic powers. What? What are you talking about? What magic powers? Mm, seeing in the dark, for example. <laughs> All wild boars can see in the dark. Okay, maybe. But do you know how to multiply kibble? <clears throat> yeah, well, I got X-ray vision. I always knew how to multiply kibble. Mm -hmm. hm. Well, 
Well, I'd be pretty darn surprised if you knew how to become invisible. <clears throat> what did you just say? I don't believe you. First, you have to close your eyes. You're okay. You can open your eyes now. <clears throat> wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> tell me how you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, please tell me. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -mm. Tell me your secret. After all, I'm almost a cat too, huh? Meow! No, not possible. Not allowed to. I swear, I won't tell a soul. <sighs> yeah, that's it? It's that simple? Mm -hmm. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. I can still see myself. It's normal. Only you can see yourself. I can't see you anymore, though. Oh, right. That makes sense. Careful. Sam is invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Can I become invisible, too? No, it's too bad, but only cats can do it. Aww. Finally, I'll be able to do everything I ever wanted. Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh, yeah, seriously, Sam, where are you? <laughs> hmm? But what in the world is he doing? Has he lost his mind? I think he's digging for acorns. What? A cat would never do that. They're gonna figure out in a blink that something weird is going on. Oh, yeah? You really think so? <laughs> Sam, say! He's invisible! But I can see him! Yeah, well, maybe, but he's still invisible. <laughs> What? No way! That's nonsense, because I can see him! <laughs> I knew something was fishy. You're the one behind all this! Quick, we gotta stop Sam before it's too late! Just look at the yard! I've never seen a cat do anything like that in my life! Why, he's a... a wild cat! Yeah, uh, no, no, he did it for a, a treasure hunt! Ooh. Right, okay, great. But um, we gotta start looking too. Otherwise, Sam's gonna win. Hey, can we play too? <laughs> I think that's enough. They've fallen for it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> I can take all the food I want without anyone seeing me! He stole my hot dogs! Dave! Dave! <laughs> Go to restaurants, play on the trampoline in the yard! Dave! <laughs> hey! Thieves! Double thief! I'll find both of you! We gotta find Sam as fast as possible. No telling what he's capable of doing. He thinks he's invisible. Oh no, what if he takes off his costume? It must be noon already, and I'm gonna miss pigtails. Quick, gotta find a TV! Do you think we're gonna find him? Yeah, he can't be far. Now, if I were Sam, what would I want to do if I were invisible? Eat, watch TV... Ah! Hola! Sam managed to get inside all the TVs! This is an emergency! The animal power! Oh, no! 
No, they know where he is. I'm going in. him. You're not scared of any ghost train. should be here shortly. And I hear they're really dangerous animals. Phew, they haven't captured him yet. Quick, let's go. <laughs> Quick, Sam, we gotta run. You can see me? Of course I can. Everyone can see you. Why do you think there's nobody left in the amusement park? They all ran for their lives when they saw you without your costume. No, that's impossible. I'm invisible. You see, Wash? That's what I told you. We're playing Sam is invisible. <laughs> Did I do it right? Can you see me now? Hello, Sam. You feeling okay? It doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. I'm a cat and cats can become invisible. One, you're not a cat. Two, cats cannot become invisible. But... Sam, Vic and Susie were teasing you. Ah, I don't have my costume. I left it at the construction site. What am I gonna do? Susie's gonna go get it. It's the least she can do. And we're gonna get out of here before the animal pound arrives. Too late. Stop that. You're gonna give us away. <laughs> Got no choice. Huh? What? A fox as well as a wild boar? Stand back up! This place is crawling with wild animals! <laughs> a fox driving a bumper car? What next? Huh? <laughs> uh, come back, you lousy thief! Stop it, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Not possible. Aha! Follow me. <laughs> I'll never ever leave you again. Come on, uh, hurry up! We're gonna miss dinner! You! Hmm? you. Uh-oh! This time you won't escape me, you bunch of things! This way! <laughs> 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 Time to settle a few scores, and I have every intention of coming out on top! It's right about now we could use some of those magic powers. Yuki! <laughs> Huh? Oh, I can't see a thing! Bullseye! Woohoo! Follow me! <laughs> hey! It's starting! Oh, Vic. You were on the sofa? We didn't see you. You should warn us next time you become invisible.
Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. This is a device specially designed to gaze at the stars. There are stars on the box. Loads of them. Look. Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> Shoot, an acorn with zero flavor. <laughs> you can't eat it, Jelly Brain. It's something humans use for parties. <laughs> Oh, cool it, girls. The party isn't here. It's at Mr. Livingstone's mom's house. It's for her birthday. Our masters forgot to take the box when they left. What? It's his mom's birthday? Gosh, <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to the forest, are you? You're crazy! Today is also my mom's birthday. I completely forgot. Don't you realize? No, not those two imbeciles again. I absolutely have to go see her. Hey? She'll be so disappointed. I only want to give her a big hug. Simple, yeah? Who's he talking about? Washington, I am sorry. I refuse to let you go alone. I'm your best. You want to come with me? You know, my mom makes the best acorn pie in the forest. Really? Uh, okay, I'll come with you. Just a quick trip. Hmm. We'd be better off going home and sleeping. No way! I have a hunch Wash has a date with a girl, and I want to be sure. Hmm? Wash, someone's following us! Nah, uh what are you talking about? My snout is tingling, and when my snout tingles... Your snout tingles all the time. Whenever you're hungry, whenever you're thirsty, whenever it's bedtime, whenever Dude, you're... behind the bush! It's Mitch! I know it is! Mitch is a bear, Sam. <laughs> He's far too big to hide behind a bush. It's obvious there's... <laughs> what are you doing here? We could ask you the same question. What are you doing here? Yeah, uh, 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 we came looking for, uh, catnip for Victoria. Did we? Pretend to look for catnip. They mustn't find out why we're here. Otherwise, we're done for. A hunting dog that hunts catnip? Now I've seen it all. You were right. Those jokers are hiding something. It's lucky we met you. We can help you, sir. Huh? The quicker we find catnip, huh? the quicker we get home. Yeah, uh, 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 thank you, girls. <laughs> really cool of you. Can you just turn around for a minute? <laughs> uh, call of nature. <laughs> uh, come on, quick. My parents' lair is this way. Those two clinging gate crashers obviously must not catch up with us. Hey, don't we know each other? Hmm? Of course. I remember you now. I'd recognize that muzzle anywhere. I've already seen you hanging around here. What are you doing here? You know him? Who? Him? Uh, never seen him before. We were just looking for somewhere to go wee-wee. We don't know anyone around here. Is that you, Wash? <laughs> <laughs> but of course, I'd recognize that muzzle a mile away. Back to the forest to be with us. <laughs> you? You must have confused us with someone else. <laughs> Sorry. How uncanny. He just called you Wash. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, what does that prove? 
Wash is a very common name. I see. You're just giving us the brush off, are you? Just because you're with your little town girlfriends? Do your parents know you're behaving like a town boy? If you've never been to the forest before, isn't it weird how all the animals seem to know perfectly well who you are? No, they're just joking. It's the forest air. Everybody knows. <laughs> it makes people want to fool around. Too right, like me when I was in the forest. <laughs> I get it. Well, I got a special little joke for you. Forest style. You're gonna love it. See you later! What did you really come here to do, Sam? Yeah, well, yeah. Wait! Action! Wild animals! There are wild animals around here. So what? It wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but these guys are different. They're like really wild, ferocious. Mm -hmm. I can smell them. My nose never lets me down. Great, we gotta hide. What about the wild animals? We are the wild animals. Come on, we're gonna give Nugget and Fluffy the heebie-jeebies so that they clear out of here and we can go say happy birthday to my mom in peace. Fluffy, mm. don't just stand there. <laughs> Where are your manners, young man? Is that how you welcome town folk round these parts? Mm -hmm. I'll teach you manners. Little washeroo, aw, washeroo, as in Washington. A little bird told me you and Sam had been playing the wise guys now that you live in town. And that big fat wild boar is called Sam. Mm -hmm. Just like Sam Livingstone. No, Dad. His name's Max, not Sam. Max or Sam, they're both moronic names. Why are these domestic pets here? Oh, honey, it's plain to see. It's their girlfriends. Welcome to my birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> Give this a go. It's one of your dad's specialities. Mm. Mm. Oh, that is awesome. What is it? Pigtail potatoes with real pigtails. Pretty good, huh? So, little washeroo. Still happy with life in town? Well... There's nothing like the forest, son. You'd never catch me playing flunky to a human. There's honor at stake, and there's no way I'd wear one of your fancy disguises. Marvelous news, but let's not forget it's Mom's birthday. Come on, how about we go fetch the cake? I bet my nine lives that those two jokers, the fox and the boar, are none other than Wash and Sam Livingstone. What are you saying? Washington is so much more suave and sophisticated than a vulgar fox. And Sam might look dumb, but he's still a cat, not a wild boar. <laughs> Wanna bet? Hey! What's happened to Mom's acorn pie? You disappoint me, son. Have you forgotten? For birthday, we always serve my famous dung beetle mousse with dandelion clocks. Happy birthday, Mom. What happened to those two Lottie da house cats? Yeah, know what town folk are like, honey. Always in a hurry. I blame their parents. Never leave before the birthday moose. I hope you're not thinking of doing the same. Uh, of course not, Dad. Glad to hear it. What happened to Nugget and Fluffy? This is the spot we last saw them. If my hunch is right, their disguises must be hidden nearby. <sighs> but it is an acorn pie. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. Gotta go. We'd love to stay longer, but... <laughs> you came to my birthday. You've already given me the best gift possible. My little washeroo. You see? Proof you got it wrong. Wash had a date with a girl. That costume story is ridiculous. Wait just a minute. <laughs> Too late, Wash. We're done for. Uh, that is the place we left our costumes, right? Not such a wise guy now, huh? <laughs>
You went to the Livingstones' house? Uh-huh. And we had a ball. What a fiesta! <laughs> Not to mention the kibble. We're keeping these costumes. They're awesome. And to think we didn't even get any acorn pie. We're the town folk, us. But next time, don't pretend you don't know us. Got it? Uh-huh. We promise. And if you ever want to come see us at the Living Stones, you're always welcome. Where were you? We looked everywhere for you. Oh, wow. What a stink. What's the new perfume? Oh, what? What perfume? I can't smell anything. You want some catnip? I found tons with my famous feline sense of smell. Ta-da! But it isn't even catnip. Come on. Anyone can make a mistake. At least it proves Wash wasn't on a date with a girl. We're back. <laughs> Everything go okay? It was horrific. The girls were out of control. Not to mention you two joker buddies who turned up in your costumes. That was the limit. The forest is way too stressful. I'm never setting a paw back in there again. Not even for a slice of acorn pie. Don't worry. No need to go back for another year. In one week, it's Mother's Day. Are you stuck for good <laughs> ideas? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Hear that, darling? Sounds like the engine's wearing out. You think so? I hope we don't break down before we get to the vets. <laughs> Pointless, pathetic, incompetent. Get out and don't come back until you know how to heal animals, Vladimir. Get a grip on yourself and man up. You see that? Looks like the vet has been thrown out of his own clinic. Yay! New more annual checkups. What's happened, Doctor? <sighs> Velma's right. I'm incapable, pointless, useless, a dead weight in this world, a shame to my profession. Don't say that! I am, I am, I hate my job. I'd never have become a vet if my mom hadn't forced me to. My big dream was to become a Tibetan flutist. Everything will be fine, Vladimir. Go on home and take- But this is my home. I haven't anywhere else to go. Mommy! <laughs> We'll take care of you, you'll see. In a few days, you'll be raring to go again. Come and hang out with our lovable little fur balls for a while. I'm sure they'll put a smile back on your face. We gotta get out of here before that monster sees behind our disguise. We head back to the Living Stones once he's gone. Ready? One, two, three! Yeah. Look, they're so excited about showing you around the house, they jumped out before we poured! Okay, we're trapped. Keep your distance and make sure the vet does not see your zippers, okay? What kind of distance? I don't know. Two yards? Two and a half? Hmm? That's about 20, 25 sausages end to end, Sam. Or 250 sitting in a line. Let's go play with our darlings in the yard. You'll see. It'll cheer you up to no end. In you go, sweetie pies. Hide! Everybody run for cover! <laughs> uh, fluffy babies? I bet I scared them away. No, they're only playing hide and seek. Call for them, and they'll soon come running. Uh, Philadelphia! Not bad. He is named after a city, but not that one. The name's Washington. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paddington, uh, Pab, Lucy, uh, Zucchini. Uh, close. It's Washington, Sam, Susie, and Eugenie. Oh, yeah. Washington, Sam, Eugenie, Susie? It's a trap. Don't move! Oh. They 
probably didn't hear you. I haven't cleaned their ears out in over a month. Sweetie pies? Here they are. Look how pleased they are to see you. How about we all go play ball? They love playing ball. Uh. Don't move, okay? Go on, throw. You go first. <laughs> See, they don't want to play with me. It's obvious. You have to throw the ball further. Look, like this. Oh, Vladimir! I am so sorry. Are you okay? Can you hear me? <laughs> I want my mommy. How about we play that, huh? You like that, playing that? It's a game he's sure to win. It'll give his confidence a huge boost. Mr. Livingstone, you are a genius. Mm -hmm. I never want to hear anyone mention that job again. Never. I'm packing it in right this minute. <laughs> that means we never have to worry about him again, Wash. That's what he wants us to think. But it's a trap. Mm. A trap to get us closer to him. On your guard. <laughs> You can be proud of yourselves. Thanks to you, poor Vladimir has packed in his brilliant career as a vet. You should be ashamed of yourselves. I warn you, if you don't give him a big hug right this minute, you won't have any kibble. I'll give you five minutes. It's blackmail. Don't give into it. That's how it all starts. First, zero kibble. Then, you gotta sleep outside. Finally, you wind up at the dog pound, or worse, back in the forest. Hmm. Okay, Sam, go give the vet a big hug. Why me? Because, uh, go on, I'll explain later. Okay, but don't forget this time, all right? Or else I'll get to thinking you're taking me for a ride. Hmm? TV is better with pictures, don't you think? Say, I'm gonna show you my favorite program. Uh, uh, stop, uh, look. It's Imaton Tabakook, the famous Tibetan flute player. Listen to that. What talent, what beauty. Absolutely, it's remarkable, sublime. Soon it's time for my favorite Shh. Uh, huh. Meow. Sam, give him a hug. Jump on his lap, quick, or goodbye kibble forever. <laughs> Ah, a cat! Disgusting! It'll give me fleas! Get out of... Uh, oh, what soft fur! Oh, it feels like acrylic! Fake acrylic fur! See that, honey? Vladimir's got his smile back. So what? Hmm? Because of him, I can't even watch my favorite program! Come on, the main thing is he's perked up a little. And with Sam, he's sure to soon start feeling better and better. <laughs> Don't worry, Sam. I'll make you another one. <laughs> What's gotten into you? That's our family photo album. <laughs> Hello? There are people waiting out here, and you've been in there for hours. Okay, okay. It's all yours. Anyway, there's no more hot water left. <laughs> That Vladimir is really getting on my nerves. Come on, honey. We can't just throw him out. At least he's not sleeping in our bed, huh? Ah! Ah! He's gone too far. He has to go. It's time for him to go back to the clinic. You know he doesn't want to be a vet anymore. Well, I'm going to teach him the joy of curing sick animals. You'll see. What are you going to do? Our babies are in perfect health. Girls, wake up! We have a situation! I was in the oven, and what I heard... What are you doing in the oven in the middle of the night? Well, after they've roasted chicken, I love licking the sides of the oven. Oh, boy. But hey, that's not the issue. I was in the oven, and I heard the living stones plotting in the kitchen. They want to put something in our kibble to make us sick, so that then the vet can make us better. Whatever you do, don't swallow a thing, okay? Sam, where are you going? I want something to eat. <sighs> Sleep makes you hungry. Sorry, Sam. Too long to explain. But from now on, you got to stop eating anything. What? Stop eating? <laughs> Sam! My 
little shabby boy. Answer me! Call the vet, quick! But you're the vet. I gave up that career, as you well know. And anyway, I threw away all my instruments. I picked them out of the trash can. Any other questions? Hmm. How does this work again? You put it on the heart. Not on your oh. heart, Sam's heart. And you put the other end in your ears. No, you've got to put those bits in your ears. It's pointless. I'll never manage. It's been so long since I gave up. It was only yesterday. That bed is pathetic. He's never going to cure Sam. The only thing that can cure him is to eat. Susie, let me remind you that the Living Stones have doctored all the food to make us sick. Are you sure about that? As sure as two plus two makes six. What? <laughs> Two plus two makes four, you jelly brain. The Living Stones haven't poisoned anything. Not the kibble, not the canned food, nothing, nada, zilch. I think they have. Can you tell me why you're all covered in red spots, Vic? Huh, can you? It's makeup, knucklehead. The Living Stones want to make the vet think that I'm sick so then he can cure me, build up his self-confidence, and clear on out. This means we can give Sam something to eat. We could put him in a cast. Mm -hmm. That could work. Why? He hasn't broken anything. We'll have more luck with a medical encyclopedia. Let's see now, where are we? Camel? Caribou? Ah, ha, here we are. Oh. I'm awake. You'll never believe it. I dreamt I was eating kibble. It was awesome. What a fascinating book, don't you think? If I'd known all this, I might have been a better vet. Meow, meow. Sam, I don't believe it. I cured him. I'm a genius of animal medicine. It's plain to see. How has the world managed without my talent for so long? I've made up my mind. I'm taking up my stethoscope again, and I'll base my clinic here. Here we'll put the waiting room, and here my treating room. It's gonna be cutting edge, high tech, state of the art. What do you think? Well, how about you head back to your clinic instead? Oh. <laughs> Velma, it's me. I'm going back to work. Medicine needs me. Vladimir cured our cat without so much as touching him. It was phenomenal, exceptional. You must take him back. Mm -hmm. I know you'd get your old touch back, Vladimir. Welcome home. Incidentally, I believe you have an appointment for your adorable little animals. Oh, really? No, 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 just a routine checkup. Thank you, goodbye. <gasps> I think I've had enough of vets for one day. <laughs> that was close. Boy, am I ever happy he's out of the house. I got to kind of like him. No, I can't wait for the next appointment. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. It's totally in the rules. Don't tell me I don't know how to play soccer. Goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! No goal! You were lucky, that's all. Bring the ball back here and I'll show you who's the star. I don't know why I should go fetch it. You're the one who kicked. But, Eugenie, you touched the ball last, so you have to go fetch it. There's nothing to be done about it. It's the rule. Okay, if it's the rule. <laughs> hey, that's a foul! Nonsense! That was no foul! Not at all. It's
It's not my fault if you don't like the rules. You see, Eugenie, town games are like that, okay? It's not like in the forest where you can do whatever you like. Well, sometimes I wish I was back in the forest. She's been to the forest? She's the one. She's our supreme guide. Sweetie Pies, it's dinner time. <laughs> Why don't you go back to the forest for dinner? Come on, it doesn't matter. It's only a game. Go, oh, that wretched dog. As soon as the Supreme Guide returns, we'll move into action. settle this with a carrot tossing contest. If I win, you go and Eugenie stays with us. If I lose, Eugenie goes with you if she feels like it, okay? Okay. I'm gonna show you what real carrot tossing is about. Watch and learn. <laughs> Oh, with carrot tossing like that, Eugenie won't be going anywhere. Thanks, Wash. Up we go, comrades. But hey, but that's cheating. You're not allowed yes, to. Yes, you are. I know carrot tossing rules all by heart. So. Where are we going? To a wondrous, beautiful place. We'll explain later. Not in front of that dumb dog. See you soon, guys! Wait, but Eugenie, you, you can't just abandon your big brother like that. Leave it, Sam. If Eugenie prefers to go off with cheats. You're the one who couldn't stop cheating yesterday, Wash. And you deserve to be abandoned all on your own. No. Try coming along. I want to join your pure relief thing with you. You should join the LLRI instead. The link for lousy rabbit impersonators. <laughs> <laughs> Comrades, let me present Dick and Harry. Together, we form the PBLF, the Pet Bird Liberation Front. Can we come with you? Pigeons aren't pets. Come on, that's enough. Let's go. Hang on, they're my best friends. Show a bit of respect. All right, they may come with us. The most important thing is the happiness of our Supreme yeah. Guide. So where are we going? To the forest, the land of freedom. Huh? The forest? But the forest isn't the land of freedom. It's the worst place on Earth. It's very dangerous. There are terrifying predators everywhere. There is no worse predator than human beings who live in towns. The forest is our salvation. There's no way I'm going to the forest. You are our supreme guide, the only one here who has been to the forest. 
I beg you, please take us there. Without you, we can never make our dream come true. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. There you go. We're there. Here's the forest. Wow. I love it. Everything is so natural here. We mustn't hang around here for long. We might bump into Mitch. He's right. If he sees us, the gruesome grizzly will never let us go back to town. <laughs> Thank you, Eugenie. Thank you for the bottom of our hearts. Could you take us somewhere with a bit more light, please? It's a bit dark around here. Hmm. Here, is this okay? Awesome! Comrades, at last we are free! <laughs> oh, this little trip has given me an appetite. When do we get to eat? Uh, see, in the wild, you have to go foraging for food yourself. Thank you dearly, Eugenie, for taking care of it. But you've got to learn to get by without me. We've already voted. You're taking care of dinner. What's all that stuff? Why aren't there carrots on the menu? Because carrots don't grow in the forest. Anyway, it's your problem. We're going home. Never! You are our supreme guide. You are staying with us. If you go, we'll come after you. We know where you live. Get it? The PRLF never gives up. <laughs> So, go find us some carrots and get a move on. <gasps> Don't hang around here. Go back to the Living Stones. It's all my fault. I should have never gone along with them. But you were to know, and I'll never abandon you. A chicken canary never deserts her friend. Me neither. But maybe I might just head back to the Living Stones at some point to fetch some... Shut up! I've been trailing you, Eugenie. Zip off your costume and show the PRLF you're not a rabbit. When they discover that you're not their supreme guide, they'll let you go. Wash, you're amazing. But that's no reason to start cheating again when we get back to the Living Stones. Mm. Look, I'm not a real rabbit. I cannot be your supreme guide. Ah, that weird creature has to Rabbit impersonator was right. The forest is full of evil predators. Run away! Not before we retrieve the hide of our supreme guide. Rally round, PRLF! Nice to see you, pals. Thanks, Susie, and thank you, friends. You are awesome. That's your service, Bab. At the PVLF, we stick together. See you soon. Okay, feel like getting back to the Living Stones? There's a soccer match on TV. We can check out the rules. Well, I never. What an incredible punch. Christopher has just floored his opponent. See? No foul. You can tell I'm not cheating. You're cheating. We're watching a boxing match, not a soccer match. You think Gustav, Angelica, and Guinevere got away? Don't worry, little sis. At this time of day, I'm sure they're tucked up nice and warm at home with their masters. You'll see. The four of us are gonna have a ball. I'll take very special care of you. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, 
a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. There we go. Flea treatment complete. You've all been very good. Well done. But where on earth is Victoria? That's weird. She was here two minutes ago. Seeing how she hates that flea product, she must be long gone. It's like she has some sixth sense that tells her when to leave at treatment time. We're gonna have to find her. This year, the fleas are back with a vengeance. Hmm. Hey there, there you are. Yeah, we've been looking everywhere for you. Stop it! Shut up, Sam! Keep your snout out of it! Oh. Darling, look! Fix up there! Get down from there right this minute! Mission accomplished. No flea treatment for me this year. Hey, guys, look, a cat. You know what that means? Party, party, party! Yay! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Interesting. <laughs> uh, what's up with this? Can't you see? She's dancing. Cool dance routine. <laughs> I reckon she's being bitten alive by fleas. There you go, Vic. You should have played the game and taken your treatment just like everybody else. You're a fine one to speak out. Your costumes protect you from the side effects of that ghastly stuff. Ouch! And they protect you from fleas. Stop! Well, well, there you are, Vic. Mm -hmm. This time you're going nowhere. I know it smells bad and it makes your head hurt, but at least the fleas are going to leave you alone. <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. Who's up for a game of forest ball? Yeah! Yeah! Count me out this time. Go long, Sam! <laughs> Enjoying themselves as much on the other double fur animals. We have a problem. Whatever you do, do not scratch in front of them. Otherwise, zip. We'll be up in front of the vet in no time. What if the vet examines us and discovers we're wild animals? I don't want to go back to the forest. There we go. We're off for a weekend in the wild. Be good, little angels. We'll be back tomorrow morning. Oh, what did I do with my sunglasses? Oh, here they are. <laughs> All right, honey, I got the road map. And the torches. Tough, tough, silly of me. Uh, huh. What's happened to them? Do you reckon they have fleas? Hmm, but the treatment works perfectly. Victoria's fine. I'll call up the vet anyway. I'll make an appointment for tomorrow morning when we get back. 
what a nightmare! <laughs> we cannot let that vet examine us. We have to come up with some solution to get rid of these fleas. Oh, no, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> That's what we're going to find out. <laughs> what an awesome party! Yeah, whoever organized this is a genius. It doesn't work! Right. We're going to have to find some other idea. <laughs> Well, what a cute little dance routine you got there. This is not the time, Vic. If we don't ditch these fleas before the Livingstones get back, we're done for. Yep, yeah, Vic, what can we do to get rid of them? <laughs> <laughs> to do that, you'll have to find them a better place to live. Like a mansion with a mud jacuzzi? No, another animal. But don't worry, there must be hundreds of untreated pets around here. Hey, Vic, you're a genius. <sighs> but why do I have to do this first? That's the way it is. We drew lots. Trust me on this. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> hmm? What's up, Sam? Lost your way to your comfy Sophie? Hey, thing. Hey, I was looking for you with my buddies. We just wanted to say that... That what? That you're an awesome neighbor we all wanted to give you a big hug to say thanks. Uh? <laughs> yeah, what's that smell? Wait, I'll go see. I don't know what it is. It looks like a trash can with fur. Nothing compared to our double fur penthouse suite here. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I mean, what have those guys been putting in your food lately? To think I'm the one everyone calls wild around here. They're really clinging on. I don't think we have many options left. Who needs the vet? We get our hands on the flea treatment and blam! A quick dose on our real fur and problem solved. You ready? Careful, Sam. I don't believe it. What kind of vet is this guy? There's everything but meds here. Medical suite, 59 pounds or 13 ounces. Oh, no, Sam! 59 pounds and 13 ounces? That's impossible, Wash. The guy inside that thing is lying. Uh, the animals! Shh. Calm down. Did you hear that? Sounds like there are thousands of animals out there. All with nice warm fur. We're right. And it sure smells good. Maybe it's time to throw the party of the century. Yay! Thanks. You can sleep easy now. Come on, let's go look for our treatment. Huh? You know as you heard it, right? <laughs> It's the vet! Quick, let's get out of here! What about the flea treatment? I'd much rather live in a cold forest with fleas than get caught hanging around here. Let's go! Oh, what are the... Do something! Look at them, Vladimir! I shall never forget you, you little marvel of technology, you. What are you doing? Farewell, Sofa! Farewell, TV! Farewell, lovely home. Thank you for all the good times you had. We're home. We came as quickly as we could. Oh, poor little honeys. Looks like they're at their wits' end. The vet will be here any minute. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Livingstone, good day. So, where are the patients? 
Scratching. Yeah, you're right. But that means the fleas must have gone. At last, someone with a brain cell. But how come I didn't notice? I have good news and bad news. The bad news is my clinic suffered a flea invasion last night and I don't have the usual product in stock. Yeah. <laughs> but the good news is we get to try out a totally new treatment that's even more powerful. <laughs> Uh, right. The only complicated thing about this product is that it has to be swallowed. Awesome! It's breakfast time! I say, your animals sure are cooperative. Hang on, where's the upper cat? <laughs> Come on, Vic, you'll get over it. It's a good thing we got away with it this time. I hate swallowing tablets! Hey, I wonder what did happen to our fleas? Hey, is you happy? How's it going, buddy? Cool place here, huh? Huh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe. No way. It's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats, Wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious. Everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Vic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. So, Vic, ready to pay the price for defeat? Don't even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> ha, ha. Okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> you are pretty pie. Hey, Wash, not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? 
Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little doggy, eat him up. <laughs> Yet. Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah! Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. Uh, what? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. If she carries on like that, the living stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington! My slippers! Wash, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please. Wash, you bad dog. Don't ever do that again. Otherwise, you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Ru Washington, calm down! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. I mean, Vic, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's going to get it. Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We better get your 
your costume back and back! I have an idea! Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like Bad Bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. If Washington is sick, maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when I get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. You smell him. <laughs> 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 They stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. But where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? <laughs> Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. <sighs> what? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will, will you know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage deep inside you, little wild boy? <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best... Uh, uh, my young 
close best friend. But that's way too dangerous. The living stones will surely find out. The last few times it was already risky enough. Christ, did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, did there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap. Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <gasps> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. Mm -hmm. We're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh. by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Mm -hmm. And it'll never work! Mm -hmm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are, anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. We're going to go play in the yard. See you later. It's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are gonna scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the fu- We should have left sooner. How are we ever gonna find him? Oh, there! It's him! Phew, that was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only red thing works. You can't be down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha ha! What ha ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? No, Wash, please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> The girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, oh, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam. Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. <gasps> what? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. Yes, you're not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. <laughs> same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight... Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. 
<laughs> Mitchell never find me here, so who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox, cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us! Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser! <gasps> Sam! Wash and the girls still haven't come home! What? Oh no, don't tell me that! I'm gonna start to stress! All is lost. Mitch is gonna take over my place at the Living Stones and I'm gonna spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriends who would have loved to help you, but who you treated like dirt? Susie, Eugenie, you wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh no, we're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can, and besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Mitch's middle name, because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam, go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch my TV! No, no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam! Find him something to eat immediately! But there's nothing left! Somebody ate everything in the house! And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear! Uh, um, I'll go look in the oven! I didn't find anything! What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours! And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The, the day you will have vanquished your fear the is the day that, that Mitch shall no longer be a danger, danger to you. you. And if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Whoa, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret.
Hutt. My boss is coming to dinner, and I want to see no one in the living room. Come on, Hut Hut. Everybody out. Boy, how annoying. Just when we were about to find out the identity of the guy behind the horse mask. And there's nothing to do outside. Inside is so much better. Say, life in the forest must have been a nightmare without TV. That's not true. We never got bored in the forest. We played tons of games. Yeah. How about we play Guess the Snout? This game is far too easy for a fox. I'm going to obliterate you. <laughs> a cinch! Gotcha, Sam! Well, you were saying, Washington? No! I wasn't ready. Let's start over. <laughs> Maybe we should move in closer. It's a bit difficult for him, no? Yeah, too right. And anyway, he keeps walking off. Whoa! Watch out for the road! <laughs> <laughs> Alvarez? Is that you? Alvy! Mmm, it's soft, kind of sticky. This nose has got to belong to... Victoria! Maybe we should play something else. Why? What's the problem? Let's just say, Space and you don't seem to go together. Let's just say you're hopeless. If that's the way it is, I quit playing. I'm going inside. So there. And besides, I want to find out who this horse guy is. Mm -hmm. yeah. The house is the other way! Mm -hmm. Isn't that incredible? That dog crossed the whole country to get back home to its owners. Like everyone knows, the dog's sense of direction is second to none. Isn't that right, Washington? <laughs> a dog could never replace my GPS. Don't listen, boy. Your instincts will always be technology, hands down. <laughs> With my navigation assistant, I simply enter a destination and zip. I'm guided straight there. No ifs, no buts. I'd be very surprised a dog can do the same. Unless Washington is an expert in map reading. <laughs> My dog is a million times better than your dumb GPS. Oh, it depends on what you're looking for. Sometimes dogs are better, but sometimes nothing beats a GPS. I say get them both and you'll be happy. <laughs> At lunch, we'll have a race. Washington against your GPS. That way, we'll find out. <laughs> no brainer. I'm counting on you, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> At least there's someone here who recognizes my talents. <laughs> Do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You have absolutely zero sense of direction. And if the boss wins, Mr. Livingstone is going to be very, very disappointed. And then he'll start wondering if his dog is really a dog after all. Maybe I overestimated my abilities. If you'll excuse me, I'd rather not watch this. Farewell, friends. Deep down, I loved you dearly. Enjoy your trip back to the forest. What am I going to do? Because of me, we all have to go back and live in the woods. We must find some way to win this race. Unless that GPS breaks down, I have no chance. Gotta confess, I am hopeless. <gasps> of course, that's it. We have to sabotage the GPS. Great idea, Wash. But that isn't enough. What about you? How are you going to find your way home? Oh, I know. Sam and I will lay a kibble trail back to the house. All Wash has to do is follow the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> what a klutz. Never leave a window open. Uh, what are you doing? I saw that on TV. Slip your paw through the car window and the door will spring open. Hmm. Say, <laughs> what does a GPS look like? Hello. What is your destination, please? Well done, Susie. Go on, sabotage it. Uh, okay. How? Just look for a cable and pull on it. Have you done it? Have you sabotaged the PVS? You mean the GPS? That's what I said. Not yet. Right now, all we've done is get Susie tangled up in the glove box. In 800 yards, turn left. In 800 yards, turn left. 
Yeah. In, 800, eight, in 800 yards, turn wow. left. Wow, well done, Susie. With you pulling the strings, there's absolutely no way the boss will find his way back. From the top of this hill, it takes exactly the same amount of time to get home by foot as it does by car. <laughs> My GPS knows all the shortcuts. It's not too late to give up before I humiliate you. Give up? Never. Very well. Count to, uh, let's say 1,000, then take off your blindfolds. May the best man win! One, uh, two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, nine hundred and ninety-nine, one thousand! Take it away, my beauty. Send us right back to where we came from. In 800 yards, turn left. So, where's the house? Well done, Washington. I knew I could count on your instincts. hungry along the way. Oh, no! Sam, what are we going to do? Without kibble, Wash will never find his way home. Why did you have to guzzle back the kibble? You already have a lot of food stashed in your costume. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, Sam. Your costume is always crammed with food. Let me see. <laughs> I can't wait to see Livingstone's silly loser face. This is going to be fun. In 800 yards, turn left. Uh -huh. Just what I thought. It's uh, not the way it looks. Perfect. Wash is sure to recognize his favorite dog candy. <laughs> Don't be silly, Sam. I've got an idea. The rappers. will prove once and for all that Wash is a real dog. Hmm? Uh-oh, there's something wrong. What? It's a wrapper from the dog candy. Sam! Yeah. Ah. That's strange. I've got this uncanny feeling of deja vu. In 800 yards, turn left. I'm sure I've already turned left here. In 800 yards, turn left. Oh, no, Wash, what have you done? We're right back where we started. Yeah? <laughs> so lost, are we? <laughs> I knew it. A dog could never beat my GPS. Got a technical hitch? I might be lost, but at least my dog knows how to turn right. You don't my understand what went wrong. Maybe GPS. a big greedy warthog passed by and ate our trail? <laughs> Okay, if we can't help Wash without being spotted, at least we can create a diversion. A diversion? I'll take care of that. It's the least I can do. <laughs> ah, a wild boar! What's got into you, Livingstone? <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. The boys got talent. But how do we get out of this mess? I have no idea, but I need you to guide me back to the house. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Wash? It's about time. <laughs> what happened? Why are you all alone? <laughs> but, but it's me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Something's happened to my husband. <laughs> Here. Clear off, you beast! In 800 yards, turn oh. left. 
thank you again for a magnificent day. The pleasure was all ours. And thank you again, honey. You really saved us. It's Washington who saved you. Uh, ouch. <laughs> Gotta say, there's no way your GPS could have saved us from a wild hog. Uh, I must confess, I am deeply indebted to that dog of yours. <sighs> this is one TV binge we definitely deserved. I will admit that just for once you came through okay. If Susie hadn't taken control of the GPS, and if Sam hadn't ripped off his costume, I'd have been a goner. Sam, mm -hmm. where are Sam and Susie? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think it's dinner time. <laughs> In 800 yards, turn left. We're gonna win, we're gonna win, we're gonna win! Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! A cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, 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 Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <laughs> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. You better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa, oh, uh? super! What? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah, Precisely. Yeah, and that's great. why Donald isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're 
we're going to have so much fun together. It's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> Some cats have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying... You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. No! Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like that group. Because he's going to figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't want to go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're going to have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat! Bad dog! <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on. Go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey! Giddy up! If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop okay. it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> Bad dog! Aha! Found you! Bunny, we'll find him.
no one will ever find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. Mm -hmm. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer? For the whole summer! Hmm. Hey! I found him! Hmm. Weird! Uh. You're way lighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not safe! Not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! I'm all wet! Everything's going to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, Vic! Hey, your paw! Hurry up! Uh. 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 What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry. <sighs> a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way! <laughs> 